Once I also I took our Chinese client to the open air museum here nearby in Tallinn and uh, we ended up by accident to this some kind of tra traditional dance event, some party and we were both watching it like it was so authentic when you were in this open air museum set up and people were dancing so I think that was one of those things. I've been always thinking that Estonia is pretty much the similar, I mean it's very similar with Finland and then and, and that point of view very often I don't even realize that I live abroad. Having the chance to walk around in the old town and uh, experience this fairy tale life every day, it's, it's very, very nice. And I kind of like love this variety what Estonia has to provide. Like, a, I mean, it has been under many influences, it has this, this Hansa feeling, and also then at the same time, it feels very Scandinavian. So I, I like the combination of having different kind of feelings and attitudes. But I think the biggest difference comes that some of the things over here are a little bit more like uh, in Central European. I'm, I'm traveling a lot in, in Germany, for example, and I can find lots of similarities between those those countries, for example. I don't know, maybe it's something about the mutual history also, and and I don't know, maybe also geographically, because it's it's linked to continental Europe, so you, I, can, I can sense these kind of things a little bit more. I really love uh, the restaurant culture over here. I think it's amazing how, for example, Tallinn as being rather a small city has such a big variety when it comes to the different kind of restaurants and possibilities. And having that and then the price level, it's, it's amazing how much... Uh, I mean, I love going out and enjoying, enjoying eating good food and, and experience those things. Yeah.